on. This morning, we've heard a number of statements from Michigan politicians remembering the life of U.S. Senator Carl Levin. And we are so honored to have Representative Dan Kildee here with this, us this morning to share some more reflections on the career of the late Senator Congressman. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to join us this morning. Thank you very much. Good to be with you. Thank you. Congressman, in a statement, you called Carl Levin a true statesman and your political idol. What was it about the late senator that impressed you so much? Well, I think, first of all, because this loss is so personal for most of us, we think about it in that way. So what really stuck out for me is that he was just really a good friend, just a person that I could always count on who was there when I needed him. You know, but as a leader, as a political leader, he had a unique combination of characteristics. He was whip smart, understood the issues well, worked hard, held people accountable, told difficult truths. Sometimes, whether it's Wall Street or the U.S. Defense Department, he was willing to take on really tough questions. And he was tough, but at the same time, he was just the kindest, most decent person to everybody he came in contact with. And it didn't matter who you were. I, I met Carl when I was an 18-year-old new Flint school board member. And he treated me uh, with kindness and dignity and respect. And that was the way he was throughout our 44-year friendship, um, a unique set of characteristics. Definitely uh, great to look back on, Congressman. Now, uh, obviously, we've heard from a lot of different politicians this morning about how he was a champion for Michigan families. Now, he was also the longest serving senator. It's quite the accomplishment. Yes, it is. What was it about Senator Levin, in your opinion, that allowed him to be so successful? Well, I think he had that ability to win people over, even that he disagreed with. You know, I can't tell you how many people have said to me over the years, that they didn't agree with everything that Carl Levin stood for. In fact, sometimes there were pe people who just said that they disagree with him flat out, but they liked him personally and they respected him. It's really tough to hold public office for a really long time because you have to do, if you're doing it right, you have to do things that sometimes uh, uh, irritate people. Right. What Carl was able to show is that his commitment the public service was so strong that he was always trying to do the right thing, even if people disagreed with him as to what the right thing was. Uh, but he was so honest and earnest and authentic that even his opponents, even people who disagreed with him, respected him. And I think that's why he was able to serve in the United States Senate for 36 years. Yeah. And the name Levin, you know, you think about Sandra Levin, you think about Andy Levin, there are so many great thoughts that come to mind with Levin. Looking back on his life and career, what is the legacy that Carl Levin leaves behind, Congressman? Well, I think the biggest legacy, at least I hope it is, because it's so important to us right now, is, is to treat people well. Yes. Is to, you know, while serving in public service, don't forget that you're still a human being and the people that you're working with are also. And, and just fight hard, do the work, but be kind. You know, that seems kind of trite, I suppose, in these days where it seems like bomb throwing is the norm, uh, you know, in, in political dialogue. Carl never went there. He was tough and he was effective. And sometimes he was hard on people, but with respect. If that's a legacy, I think right now we should all be reflecting upon. That's a great legacy and a great message for you to bring us this morning, yeah. Congressman. Be kind and to treat people well. Congressman Kildee, thank you. Thank you once again for joining us this morning. We really appreciate it. Yes, our condolences to you, too. Yes, thank you so much, Congressman. Thank you much.